Hey, Alexandra. Hi, Morgan. It's so nice to talk to you today. I absolutely love your show and you are perfect as Jenny. Thank you so much. How did you get the role? Like, what did you have to do for your audition? Um, well, a lot of the girls in my gym were doing it and I wasn't originally going to do it because I was kind of a little bit overwhelmed by all the lines I had to memorize. But then all my friends were doing it. I was like, okay, I guess why not? And my mom was like, my mom always says, you'll regret the things in life you don't try, but you'll never regret trying something. So I tried it and then they just kept calling me back and then it kind of just happened and it was the best experience I've ever had. Did you have to show them any gymnastics before that? Yeah, so we did all, we had to submit videos and we had to go in auditions to make sure we could do the acting part. And then once they had kind of picked like what kind of the 10 girls they kind of wanted for like the whole um, show, they kind of, they brought us to my home gym and they allowed us to, they got us to show all our skills. Which of the girls did you know beforehand from gymnastics? Um, Tori, who, um, Abby, my best friend, who plays Tori. Well, actually, they're all my best friends. <laughs> um, Kira, who plays Bops, and Natasha, who plays Olivia, or were, we probably trained for a year or two before that. So it was really good being able to be with my best friends. Natasha told me that you two had a lot of fun on the set. Can you elaborate on that? Yeah, well, it was really fun. And like Natasha is the nicest person in real life. So it was really fun being able to watch her be mean to me and then me having to be like, oh my gosh. But it was really fun. And like, we're so close. So yeah, and sometimes, yeah, it was just really fun. Like being able to know that she's not actually that mean. And it was just really good being there with my best friends. Who is the funniest person on the set? Probably Tom, who played June. His character is really funny. Um, like some of the scenes, he'd have to stick his no um, carrots up his nose, and he just had a really funny personality. What's your favorite episode? I don't know what episode is my favorite. I don't have a favorite episode, but some of my favorite scenes were the scenes that I was doing gymnastics or the scenes that I was with more people because, like, I don't like doing it with what just one person. Like, I liked acting with everyone, so being with everyone was better. And also the scenes in Miami were really good because like it's Miami. <laughs> I heard that you had filmed the scenes in Miami, but not even though they're the first ones in the show, you didn't film them first. You had filmed some scenes in Toronto. So which scenes had you filmed first before going to Miami? Miami was actually the last thing I filmed. So most of the girls had already wrapped and were done the whole season. And then me, Haley, who I also knew before, actually, um, and like my little brother, my mom and my aunt all went to Miami. And my little sister actually went with me too. She played flashback Jenny. So that was actually the very last thing we filmed. How long were you there? In Miami? Mm -hmm. um, I think we were there for three or four days. And did you get any time off? Did you get to go to Disney World or anything? No, we acted the whole time. But my mom and I knew that we were going to also go to England. So we went to England and we stayed a couple extra days in England and we explored there. Have your friends seen the show and how excited are they for you that My Perfect Landing is currently trending on Netflix? <laughs> um, yeah, my friends are all like, oh my gosh, I know a TV star in the big, when I grew up, I can always tell my kids that I knew a TV star. And they all like love the show and even my gym coaches, they watch it and they're like obsessed with it. <laughs> and it's really fun because then they can ask me like questions and I can always answer. And it's really fun being able to share that experience with them. How did you get started as a gymnast? Um, well, my neighbor is a gymnast and I was, I guess I was always just like fairly active. And so my mom kind of just did me like a tramp class and then I got into it. And then, yeah, so I kind of just have always done it, I guess. I started when I was seven. I've done it ever since. How many hours a day or week do you train as a gymnast? Um, I usually, like during not COVID, I usually do four and a half hours a day or 21 hours a week. Wow. How do you fit all that in with acting and school? Well, I haven't done any gigs since my perfect landing because I just, it's COVID. Um, but I really hope I can do something after. But I have really accommodating teachers. I've got really great teachers. So they're always able to help me. And I usually just do like an hour or two of homework a night. Yeah. Have you thought about what you'd like to do in the future? Would it be more acting, uh, something to do with gymnastics or something totally different? 
I would totally love to do something with acting again. I felt like it was an amazing experience and I definitely love to do more. Um, yeah, with gymnastics, I'm not really, um, I don't really have any goals for it. I kind of just love being there. I love being with my friends and I love doing the skills. So I kind of just, and I've also had an elbow surgery on each arm over the last two years. So I've been off for like the last two years. But I'm, yeah, I just do it because I love it. And so I really just want to stay in that for a couple more years and just enjoy it. What kind of surgery did you get? Um, I just had an elbow surgery. I had some oh. something wrong with my arm. So but you're okay. okay. I'm all better now. Okay, that's good. Are you looking forward to the Olympics? And is there any particular gymnast that you would like, like root for? Um... Yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Olympics. I feel like it's always such so cool to watch. I feel like I've always watched it ever since I was young, and I was was like, I want to be like that girl. Um, Simone Biles is really crazy right these days, so I'm really excited to watch her and see what new skills she has pulled off. And Ellie Black, I met her. My my family and I we went to Halifax not that long ago to escape COVID because they had no COVID cases there, and I got to meet Ellie a couple times, which was really nice. And. Finally, if there was a second season, what would you like to see happen with Jenny? Ooh, that's hard. Well, I don't really want to spoil season one by saying what I would want in season two, but I definitely want her to take over the team, the Canton gymnastics team, because I feel like that'd be really cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for chatting with me. I know you've got a really busy day with graduation and your second COVID vaccine. Yay. So congratulations on both. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel or if you're returning and haven't hit that subscribe button, please do so now and click the like button underneath the video. Tap the notification bell if you want to make sure not to miss out on any new celebrity interviews.